Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the People Show. We check the post of Rescue Nation brought to you for Nebraska Spine Hospital. Today I'm joined by a special guest, Mr. Cam Taylor Britt. How you doing, my friend? I'm all good, man. Can't complain here. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. So I just got to ask. Obviously, the Purdue game didn't go the way you guys wanted to. Tough loss, tough outcome. Yes, What's the feeling? Well, let me go back because Frost said he left the locker room and let the captains do the talking. Now, you don't have to no, tell no. me what was said. But I'm just curious, like, what was the feeling in that locker room? Was it anger, frustration, sadness? Like, what was the feeling and tone in that locker room after the game when the captains were speaking? Uh, just a lot of frustration and sadness, you could say. But once I, you know, coach left the locker room and I stood up, I just let the guys know, don't give up, man. Uh, it's a lot of football still to be played. We still have these three games left. And they're big games. Uh, don't give up. Why not? You know, uh, we've been playing football since we were little. You know, why Why change it now? Just because of a record, yes, it matters. But, you know, we came here to play, you know, football for the University of Nebraska. Why not put your best foot forward? Don't give up now. Yeah, for sure. So what was... As we're recording this, it's Monday. What was kind of Frost's message to the team, and what's the demeanor of the team throughout practice today as you guys get ready to take on Ohio State? I can say today was a big change, man. Everybody came in, you know, focused, locked in, uh, you know, just forgetting about that last game, knowing that we have Ohio State this week, and everybody came in ready to work today. What's What's the biggest thing you see from the Buckeyes so far, their offense, Number one of the Big Ten, very explosive. The defense has gotten better as the year's gone along. I know you don't watch their defense as much, um, <laughs> but probably not the strength of what they do. But what have you seen from this this offense and their talented young quarterback? I can say one thing, man. He, he has a pretty ball that he throws, man. Uh, the deep ball, he loves it. Uh, he will take that shot at any time. It's uh, you know, one of those two receivers, maybe you know number 11 as well, but two and five are his main targets. Uh I can say, you know, they're very fast on offense, very fast. Uh, they got a lot of schemes. They're very mature receiver where, you know, they can sit in the holes, and if you're playing over top too much, they sit it down. You know, they're just, you know, very good on offense. So, you know, we just do our job that we're supposed to do, and we'll lock it up. Talk to me about, obviously, there's, you know, a lot of a lot of pressure, on th I think, on Coach Frost at this point. You're probably hearing a lot of things about Coach Frost. You know, how do the players – how do you guys feel about that, or does that affect you at all? Does that impact you at all? How do you, how, what's your guys' reaction to all that stuff going on? I wouldn't say, you know, I really look at the stuff, you know, that they say about coach. I really don't even look at the things they say about the team anymore because, you know, there's been nothing but negativity, and why would you want that around the team? Um, but, you know, the things that they do say, you know, as far as coach, uh, they, you know, downing them and just giving negative things, and we don't need that. I um, just tell the guys, you know, just don't look into it. Um, because, you know, coaches are already going through a lot with everybody, you know, coming at his head. So, you know, we need to help, you know, change everything that's going on, you know, because we're his players and this is his team. So we need to win up. It's interesting because one of the things I learned very early on when I was at Nebraska was I learned to not pay attention. And it's, it still blows my mind that I have the job now that I do. I would have never predicted it in four billion years. <laughs> because I ignored people like me all the time. If it was negative, like you said, why would you want that? And even Most if them. we were like, you know, at one point we were ranked in the top 10 and everybody was loving us up, I learned not to pay attention to that either because then all of a sudden you can start feeling yourself and start feeling Most good about yourself. Yep. So, man, what you just said, I learned that very early on, and it's I've been doing this show for like seven years, and it's still – kind of weird for me being on this side of it i just love talking husker football but that's some great advice you had right there talk to me um being the leader on the team and obviously one of the leaders on the team and obviously you stood up after the purdue game in the locker room you know you, you were talking with the team talk to me about just the position that you're in in general and every day practice some days in practice are harder than others some days you can be more excited to come football's not always easy as you know how do you keep the guys motivated at a point like this you know obviously a big game but how do you keep the guys motivated from a leadership standpoint i just let them know man where i'm from bro i'm from montgomery alabama and we really had to get it out the mud from many things from from football to any type of sport you know we always had to get it, and I just let them know, bro, there's a lot of people that don't get to play this sport. There's a lot of people that are in hospitals right now that don't, you know, can't can't breathe on their own, so why come out here and, you know, play around when with this sport that, 
that's given to us, and it can be taken away just like that. Come out here and put your best foot forward, man, for the University of Nebraska and your brothers to the left and to your right. You know, you shouldn't need any more motivation than that. You got your family, your name on, on your jersey. You know, you got everything goes. Why not, you know, put your best foot forward? How have your teammates responded to that? Because some guys are going to respond differently to the same thing. What's been the response as an overall whole? It's been great, I can say, man. Some guys are coming along and it's just taking a little, you know, some other guys, you know, just a little while longer. But, you know, with, with everybody, you know, just coming together, we could just bring along those guys, you know, with the team that we have and with the leaders especially as those older guys. So the defense – you know, really was the strength of this team for a good portion of the season. The last three games, I think, have probably been challenging for you guys in the aspect of you guys have been on the field anywhere from 35 to 38 Too minutes long. in each of those last three games. I, <laughs> I heard Too your reaction. Long. What's that What's that like, man? What's that feeling on the defensive side of the ball? Uh, third down, man, we just got to get out the field. There's always, you know, one either missed gap or, or, you know, somebody not doing their job, and that's what Coach preaches to us have good eyes, you know, and great technique. You have to do your job first before trying to go make a play. And I just feel, you know, some some of those things, we just – just one person, you know, and then it, it trickles down and, you know, they just messed the whole play up. So we just got to get off the field on third down, get some more turnovers. And, you know, we begin three and outs, but we need more. Yeah, that's that's got to be tough, man, just – being on the field that much has got to wear on you a little bit. But at the same time, talk to me because offense and defense are interconnected. And, you know, I'll never forget my rookie year with the Rams. They were scoring really fast, which was great, but we were back out <laughs> yeah. on the field, you know. So, Quick. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's a plus and a minus there from a defensive perspective. So if the right. offense is either struggling or they score quick because – our offense right now either seems to score quick or they're off the field quick. You know, how, do, how does that affect you when you're constantly going back out on the field on defense or so it may seem? Uh, we just got to get back out of there and play defense. I feel like, you know, once we have to go back on the field, you can see the energy from the defense wanting to go back on the field. We understand, you know, the offense just went three and out and three and out again, but we get a chance to go back on the field and change that. Uh, before I go on the field, I always tell the guys I love them. And we always headbutt or you see me shaking somebody's hand or something. It's, it's always that right before we go on the field. Just to know that, man, I got your back and I know you got my um, – I feel like we got that connection on defense. And those relationships are very close. You know, every every Monday I interview somebody. And if it's after a win, I usually kind of have a feeling the guys are going to be upbeat and happy. And if it's after a loss or a tough loss, you never know. You know, I, normally I don't even know who I'm going to interview until five minutes before. Like, Shane <laughs> literally said, hey, Cam Taylor Britt's here. Are you available? Okay. And I never know who it's going to be, and I never know how they're really going to react, you know, after yes, a sir. tough loss. Dude, your optimism at this point of a what has to be a frustrating season is infectious. Like, how do you remain that optimistic? Like, you've got me smiling when I didn't think that would be possible on a day like this. Just your optimism and your outlook. Just the best thing to play this game. Uh, I wasn't even supposed to be playing this game this long. Uh, two knee surgeries. You know, I, I thank God for that. So I'm just blessed to be here. And why not put, you know, everything that I got on the field? My grandmother didn't get to see me, you know, play like I wanted her to. So, you know, I'm playing for people that that's, that's long gone. Playing for the people, you know, that I'm playing with on the field. And, you know, just for the Nebraska. Like, I came here for a reason. I want to change it. So, you know, I have to be a leader to, and always be upright. And when I'm not, I always have leaders like Damian and, you know, Adrian to pick me up. And that's, I can say that's rare, but, you know, when I am down, everybody doesn't always have good days, and they pick me up right there. And it's the same, you know, it goes the other way. All right, man, well, I, I love it. Uh, I love the optimism. The only question I got for you, because there is a lot of frustration out there. I'm sure you're aware of all that. What is uh, what is uh, a message or a statement you like, might like to make to Husker fans, just just from you to them, if, you, if you'd if you like. just want to say thank you for always sticking with us, man. You know, it's been a long ride. It's been a tough ride, and, and they've, they rode the whole ride with us, man. And I really appreciate it. Uh, we, we, we're we trying. Uh, we come in every day and go to work. And you guys don't see that, but, you know, when we get on the field on Saturday, you will see because we have to, you know, make a change of that. And that's it, man. I can say, man, I appreciate the Husker Nation, baby. And we got to throw the balls on Saturday. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Good luck on Saturday. Good luck the rest of the season. Until next time, Husker Nation, go big red. And always remember, throw the balls, baby. 
Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.